Hello friends, today we are going to talk about the renovascular hypertension or the renal artery stenosis. Okay, this is the form of secondary hypertension. Hypertension, there is a major two types. One is the primary hypertension and one is the secondary hypertension. Primary hypertension, most of the time, idiopathic. It requires the lifelong treatment with the antihypertensive medication. But the secondary hypertension having a, some etiology behind it. If we cure that etiology, then uh, there is no requirement of medication lifelong. Okay. The most common cause of the secondary hypertension is the renovascular hypertension or renal artery stenosis. Okay. Now, let's look about the introduction. Renal artery stenosis or renovascular hypertension, it is a curable form of hypertension because once it's diagnosed after the treatment, it is a curable. Okay. It occurs in the two types of patient, two groups of patient suffer from this type of disease. Okay. Uh, in the older age group and in the younger age group. Okay. In the older age group, it is due to the atherosclerosis and it is a younger age group, it is due to the fibromuscular dysplasia it is the one of the disease okay in the older age group now uh, it involves the proximal part of the renal artery and in the younger age group it involves the distal part of the renal artery okay question is when to suspect the renal artery stenosis okay or renovascular hypertension when to suspect the renal artery stenosis there are the five uh, cases in which we have to suspect for the renal artery stenosis the first one is the severe or refractory hypertension. Now, what is the meaning of refractory hypertension? Refractory hypertension means the blood pressure more than 180 by 110 despite of taking three antihypertensive medication and one of them should be diuretic. Okay. This is the refractory hypertension. The second condition in which we have to suspect about the renal artery stenosis in, win, in which recent loss of hypertension control means the patient who had control of blood pressure on the medication but suddenly blood pressure is shoot up on the same medication okay this is known as the recent loss of control hypertension control the third one is the new onset moderate to severe hypertension uh, mostly in the younger age group uh, the fourth one is the unexplained deterioration of the renal function a patient whose renal function deteriorate means increase in the serum create or decrease in the creatinine clearance uh, in that patient we have to suspect for the renal artery stenosis due to or the, as a cause of hypertension and the fifth one is the abdominal uh, or flank bruit when patient is giving a history of bruit in the abdomen or while examining examining the patient we find uh, bruit in the abdomen or the flank region then we have to suspect for the renal artery stenosis Okay, thank you. This picture showing the uh, cut section of the kidney which showing the renal artery and the renal vein. Uh, the proximal part of the renal artery which is usually involved in case of atherosclerosis. Okay, the renal artery stenosis due to the atherosclerosis and the distal part which is usually involved in case of fibromuscular dysplasia in case of younger patient who are suffered from the renal artery stenosis. Now, the thing is which investigation required for the diagnosis of the renal artery stenosis or the renovascular hypertension. Okay. Uh, there are the two types of investigation. One is for the screening and the one is the for the confirmation. For the screening, we are usually uh, doing the uh, renal do Doppler, renal artery Doppler. Okay. Uh, Doppler USG of renal artery. This is done by the radiologist in the radio department. Okay. One, the second one is the DTPA scan diethylene triamine pentaacetic acid scan okay uh, it's it is done before and after giving the captopril second one is the confirmatory test once we are uh, doing the screening test and uh, we suspect about the renal artery stenosis then we have to go for the uh, confirmatory test and the confirmatory test is the renal artery angiography like the coronary uh, angiography in case of myocardial infarction uh, this is the renal artery angiography okay uh, or uh, we are using the gadolinium contrast MR angiography, magnetic resonance angiography. This is the confirmatory test to diagnose the renal artery stenosis. Management okay. of renovascular hypertension involves the medical therapy and the surgical therapy. Okay. First of all, we look about the medical therapy. Medical therapy involves the ACE inhibitor and the ARB. 
angiotensin receptor uh, blocker okay the ac inhibitor includes captopril tablet captopril lisinopril ramipril inalapril okay and in case of arb angiotensin receptor blocker uh, it involves the losartan telmisartan valsartan and candisartan okay now the thing is when this type of medical therapy is not useful or contraindicated indication of medical therapy there are the two major contraindication one is the bilateral renal artery stenosis and the renal artery stenosis in case of solitary kidney okay uh, ac inhibitor or the arb is useful if patient is having a unilateral renal artery stenosis but bilateral renal in case of bilateral renal artery stenosis it is contraindicated or if the patient is having only one kidney then also the medical therapy is contraindicated and we have to go for the surgical management surgical okay. management or vascular repair what are the indication and what is the procedure okay the indication is when the medical therapy fails to control hypertension and the patient having a preserved renal function in case of uh, deteriorated uh, renal function we cannot do uh, surgical uh, therapy okay and its procedure is uh, known as a percutaneous transluminal renal angioplasty with endoprosthetic prosthesis placement stent placement same as the uh, coronary angioplasty and the stent placement in case of myocardial infarction we are using the percutaneous transluminal renal angioplasty with stent placement in case of renal artery stenosis and uh, the second one is the surgical renal revascularization revascularization as the cabg we cut the affected part and it replaces with the another donor vein or artery okay thank you